This has been my travel companion. Missouri, Wyoming, Oregon, Washington, Notre Dame, Penn State, Texas A&M, Oregon State, Stanford, Louisville, UCLA, Michigan State, USC. I believe those are goalposts. Washington State's offense will be loaded again this year, as it usually is. But if they want to go from the level of eight or nine wins, where they've been the last two years, to ten or more, it'll be the defense that gets them there. And this will be a big part of it. I talked to defensive coordinator Alex Grinch, and he said that the key thing that they talk about here and emphasize is takeaways, stripping that football. So when the players come out for practice, the first thing they do, swat that ball. When they leave practice and go back into the locker room, the last thing they do, swat that ball. The reason is to develop the mentality of attacking the football. And they also attack it out there on the field with their own offensive players. I mean, they strip not just to the whistle, but through the whistle. And that annoys the offensive guys because they will not let go of that ball, but the defense will not stop stripping, and they have a lot of fights in practice because of that. And that's good for both sides of the ball. It's also good for winning. Coach Grinch told me that he's done studies to show that one stat to the exclusion of all others has a disproportionate effect on winning in college football, and that is getting 24 or more takeaways in a season. He said if you get 24 takeaways, you win nine games throughout the universe of college football. Two years ago, they had 24 takeaways here, won nine games. Last year, they had 23 takeaways. They won eight games. Well, if they want to go from eight or nine to ten or more, the emphasis will be this. It will start and end with